I'm here today to announce the appointment of David Weiss as a special counsel, consistent with the Department of Justice regulations governing such matters. Thank you. If you as attorney Weiss had the authorities what he needed, would why does he need to be a special counsel? Do you still have faith in U.S. Attorney Weiss after the deal fell apart? The questions that were being shouted at him were, uh, if Weiss had the authority he needed, why name a special counsel? Of course, he didn't answer that. And so I thought, well, Hunter is is not happy about this. But then I read, oh, who is that special counsel? David Weiss, the guy who's been investigating it the entire time already. Based on what the IRS whistleblowers were saying, they said that they asked Weiss if he could get special counsel status. David Weiss told them uh, that he was told no. But when David Weiss was asked about it, he said, no, that's that's not true. I was given all authority. Now, the plea deal did fall through. If you remember, the judge read through everything that was indicated inside of this plea deal and buried way down deep in the fine print. It gave Hunter Biden immunity for anything and everything committed prior to that date. And, and she called it out and said, wait a minute, you're giving him in a sort of blanket immunity. And the prosecution said, uh, uh, no, that's not what we're doing. That's not what we're doing. And then Hunter's legal team said, what? Like, that's what we agreed to. If, if that's not the case, the deal's off. And then it blew up. Meanwhile, the statute of limitations uh, continues to tick and it's getting very, very close. Catherine Herridge uh, talking about what this actual appointment of Weiss as special counsel does uh, as it relates to the Hunter Biden case. Former federal prosecutor I spoke to just before this event said to me the appointment of a special counsel would have the effect of delaying a resolution on the Hunter Biden matter, in his opinion. And it would certainly delay any anticipated testimony from the U.S. attorney in Delaware to Republicans on Capitol Hill who have been seeking that testimony for several months. One of the clear advantages is it potentially protects Weiss from having to testify. The DOJ not only appointed Weiss, but they've also filed to dismiss the misdemeanors in Delaware, which is the only pending criminal charges against Hunter at the moment. So they appointed a special counsel and at the same time filed to dismiss those misdemeanor charges.